Hey classroom, today we will have a test on Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer. How many of you know who this character is? Any takers? Yeah, for a lot of casual fans, I thought so. Alright, who's next? Let's see who's stronger. This is the only thing I hate about Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts mobile games. If you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts mobile games, seriously, this video ain't gonna be for you. But I'm usually super hyper positive about everything. But I think this is the only thing I really have to come after with Kingdom Hearts. Before we go into why Kingdom Hearts mobile games are pretty whack, at least for me, let's talk about the old problem that Kingdom Hearts had to explain how we're coming full circle in 2022 with mobile games and Kingdom Hearts. And that is Kingdom Hearts and accessibility. Growing up, I'm not gonna lie, the only thing my parents would get me was the consoles if I swore to get straight A's. Regardless, Kingdom Hearts was always criticized for two things. One, diverging from the PlayStation and not being on every platform possible. Don't try me or group me with a console war or nothing like that. I literally just made a video the other day on cross playing fighting games and I own all the consoles. I want everybody to play everything. This was frustrating because there are no Kingdom Hearts side games, but rather there are not numbered titles which overall add to the lower story narrative of Kingdom Hearts. The problem is that Kingdom Hearts has a lot of canon concepts tied to platforms and different player bases fandoms are not used to. If you've been following Kingdom Hearts since the beginning, you possibly went from PS2, GBA, PS2, Nintendo DS, PSP, Nintendo 3DS, and PC, and iOS and Android with Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key and Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So yeah, that's a lot of consoles to keep up with one series. However, Kingdom Hearts has attempted to solve this back in 2013 with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 on PS3, and then Kingdom Hearts 2.5 October of the following year. It is amazing that even in 2022 nowadays, you can buy a Kingdom Hearts all-in-one package that gives you all the games of the Dark Seeker Saga before Kingdom Hearts 3 for the price of 30 or less in many places. But there's that one blemish, that one ankle breaker, that ugly bomb is the mobile games. And this is a huge reason that started my huge uptaking on why I hate mobile games. Many of you may be new to the channel, but I've explicitly said it. I hate mobile games because of the weight of content and repetitiveness. I also hate how many mobile games are very grind intensive and thus feeling worse than various older JRPGs. This leads to the problem with Union Cross. Don't get me wrong, if you don't have time in the day to play video games and stuff like that, this is very much a beautiful alternative for those type of people, etc. I get that. But with me with mobile games, I will rather just not play nothing or leave it alone altogether if it came down to it. It's so hard to follow Kingdom Hearts Union Cross because how the updates and content were given to us versus just buying a normal $60 to $70 Kingdom Hearts game. So hear me out. So when you buy a game assuming no DLC with Kingdom Hearts, you get another chapter of Kingdom Hearts story-wise, aka usually another piece of the Dark Seeker saga. Each Kingdom Hearts game can run from anywhere from 20 hours to 35 hours long, and with Union Cross, if you played on release, you get to a point to where there is no more story content until the developers send out the next update. Even though I have the patience a lot of times to wait for things, I know many others do not. It's essentially how some people prefer binging an anime versus just watching it weekly. Everybody got their own taste. The only difference here with the anime compared to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, we know what day of the week a new episode is coming out, or B, they tell us that something's not happening. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross be going out for eight years, I believe. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross has so many issues with the updates, delays, and etc. to make good story content. But gosh, it kind of seemed very inconsistent with that game. We're just now getting the next part of Dark World, I believe. Or probably the ending. I don't know. I don't follow that game. I will say, though, experiencing Union Cross is way easier nowadays because of YouTube. But if you were an active player Union Cross, you've been following a mobile game storyline for one single game, by the way, since 2015. It's been eight years. I think the final part is finally coming to a close in 2022. Like I said, then there's Dark Road, which looks exactly like you your cross, and now it comes down to Missing Link. I think Missing Link is a huge step up compared to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road. It looks 3D and reminds me of Final Fantasy VII's first soldier that Square did recently. I'm just scared that we will have a huge story split again in mobile games when they could have just put this on consoles as well. It just sucks that we most likely will have Cage 4 done before we possibly get the full story of Missing Link, depending on how successful that game is. 
And I know I have some people that are worried that with Kingdom Hearts titles, that they're essentially going to all be mobile games if they're a side or smaller story, if not a numbered title, okay? You know what I mean by that. I'm not really calling them side games. You just... You get the point. I don't know what to call. I just like to, I just call them additional story. Just, ugh, leave me alone. What's funny is Missing Link could have been a console game. If they didn't just develop them just for iOS and Android, they could have also put these games on console as well. People say name a mobile game that does that. Bleach Brave Souls just recently ported itself to PS4, making it to where it's more accessible in the way that people play the game than having to deal with just mobile games. Usually, I'm the type of person that when I use my phone, I'm using it for either like communication or social media, not really to play games. You know, that's not my whole intention. The reason why it's like this is one, in Japan, there is a huge market for mobile games. Mobile market will always be there to stay. And plus they have better internet connections. So a lot of the functions in their game can be done way easier over there than compared to over here. Like, I know you running out your data cap this month. I, I know, I know. And as a Kingdom Hearts fan, for once, I feel annoyed because I have to play a game in a style that I don't like just for story reasons. This is also going to hurt Kingdom Hearts 4 because if you see it on Twitter, people are like, who the hell is this character? People are making jokes about the character, but the character been around since 2015. And again, I just feel bad for people that don't have access to all of this information or if we do have access to the information it is very unappealing to look at to do so i think i'm more excited for missing link because of how it looks but i'm also going to hate how story information and stuff may drop in that game who knows it could probably just be like a shorthand mobile project but they add multiplayer to this game we know that could have been no console man it's literally like 2022's mirage arena loki that's all i really want to see Kingdom Hearts explore in the future next. So that being said, it's your boy Avatar Yaya. Follow me on Twitter at Avatar Yaya underscore. Hit the subscribe button and also like for more Kingdom Hearts and JRPG content. On this channel, I cover fighting games and JRPGs. So don't worry, we got a lot of stuff to talk about on the channel always. And hit the bell for all notifications so you'll never miss an upload from your boy. Also, follow me on Twitter at Avatar Yaya underscore. I lost my last Twitter last year, and I'm trying to surpass a 3K follower account. So let's see if we can do that on Twitter as well. And remember, God loves you, drink water, and stay blessed. You guys are golden, and that is raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out. I've been a devil, I need me a hawk and no water I'm breathing, I feel like time's rolling Walking this bitch with a zomp, I don't wanna let you rock it I keep me a domino, I bitch on my dick and I feel like a Zaki Stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates I'm stretching the soul like right out of a body Fire, I'm spitting, I feel like Dobby White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy She from Kiyoshi, I paint her face suit